Greetings, my brothers. Greetings, my sisters. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad, so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. Today is the day that I open up my mouth and give Jesus all the thanks. I give him all the praise today. I give him all the glory today. I magnify and I shout his holy name. I dance until I can't stop. I dance until my ankles break. Because today is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm so thankful. And I'm so grateful. I'm so honored. And I'm so blessed just to be in his presence again. I'm so thankful right now today for me to seek him in his kingdom. For me to continue to always pour my heart out to him. And even though my situation and my circumstance is still looking the same, I'm still trusting Jesus. Even though I don't see anything, I'm still trusting him. Even though I'm in this dark, ugly place, I'm still trusting him. In the midst of my storm, which I know for a fact that the storm shall pass. This year, this season in 2019, in the month of July. But I'm still going to thank him. I'm still going to praise him. I'm still going to glorify him. I'm still going to magnify a shout of his holy name for who he is and what he has done and what he is doing right now in our life. Praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It is an everyday thing because our Heavenly Father God is still on the throne. He is still performing miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. He is still watching over us and protecting us and guiding us and directing our every footsteps. You can't do nothing but to thank him. You can't do nothing but to praise him. You can't do nothing but to count and depend and rely on Jesus because he's the only one that got your back to the very end. Everybody might walk out in your life, but Jesus will always be there. He will always be your father. He will always be your protector. He will always be your shelter. He will always be your refuge. He will always be your savior each and every day. That's why praise is so necessary. That's why praise is so important, my brothers and my sisters. Start getting in the habit right now. I want every last one of my brothers right now, my sisters right now, every young man, every young lady around the world, around the globe, around the universe. I don't care if you're in space right now. I don't care if you're under the sea right now. I don't care if you're under a rock right now. You need to open up your mouth right now today and shout out glory, hallelujah, victory is mine and give Jesus the praise where we owe him because every last one of us are in debt with Jesus. Praise is something that you should always want to do. Because if it wasn't for Jesus, you wouldn't be here today. If it wasn't for Jesus, how you got out of that dark situation? If it wasn't for Jesus, when well, you know that you did wrong, but he still made a way for you? Come on now, somebody. Open up your mouth right now and give him the praise and give him the thanks and give him the glory. Open up your heart and pour it out to him right now today. That's what Jesus want to see out of every last one of you. Open up your heart and give him what you deserve him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd love to give a shout out right now to all my brothers, all my sisters, every young man, every young lady around the world, around the globe, around the universe right now today. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am for every last one of y'all. Thank y'all for always putting Jesus first place. Thank y'all thank for always seeking him. And thank y'all for always being part of today's service. Y'all could have been doing anything today. You could have been a part of anything. You could have been watching anything. But you chose his YouTube channel. You chose to listen to another word. You chose to receive another message. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It's because of you. That's why his ministry is still on air right now today. It's because of you, because your faith and your obedience, that's why it's ministry is still growing each and every day. And I want to let you know from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my brothers and my sisters. Thank you all for always watching. Thank you all for always viewing. Thank you all for always leaving Jesus a comment. Thank you all for ones who always subscribe. Thank you all for the ones who unsubscribe. Thank you so much, too. I'm thankful. I'm grateful, I'm honored, and I'm blessed for every last one of y'all. Thank y'all so much. 
So if I'm thankful and I'm grateful, I'm honored and I'm blessed, how much more do you think our Heavenly Father God is? He is so thankful right now because of your faithfulness and your obedience that you have towards his ministry right now today. He is so thankful and grateful and honored blessed because of your faithfulness and your obedience that you have towards him. And he knows your faith and he knows your obedience. He knows that you are seeking him. He knows that you are praising him. He knows that you are crying out to him. So he told me to tell you right now today that he is doing a new thing right now in your life. He's doing a new thing in your finances right now. He's doing a new thing in your marriage right now. He's doing a new thing in your health right now. He's doing a new thing in your dreams right now. He's doing a new thing in your business right now, in your homes, in your child's life, in your ministry. How do I know that? According to the word of God of Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 through 20, the word of God says when you, when you forget about the former things, when you're not dwelling on the past anymore, the only thing that you want to do is seek him. The only thing that you want to do is praise him. The only thing that you want to do is glorify and magnify shout of his holy name then Jesus I'm able to come in and do a new thing unto you good God almighty he said he is able to come in and do a new thing unto you but I'm going to go a little farther with it and a little deeper with it if I can amen amen so if you turn your Bibles to Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 the word of God also says there's a time under heaven for everything. It was a time when you thought God had forgotten about you. It was a time that you questioned him. It was a time that you doubted. It was a time that you wanted to throw in the towel, but Jesus threw the towel right back at you. It was a time that same seed that you planted, you didn't see it grow. You didn't see it move. So you say, you know what? I must, I must ain't watering right, so I'm going to walk away. But all of a sudden, Jesus said, came in and did a new thing. Now that same seed that you planted. That same seed that you spoke life over. That same seed that you spoke prosperity over. That same seed that you gave, you put trust in. You put faith in. You put hope in. Jesus said, now I'm coming to do a new thing. But he said, I'm doing it now. Because it was a time when that seed wasn't growing. It was a time when you didn't see it move. It was a time when you didn't hear nothing from God. It was a time when you didn't see nothing. It was a time when your situation, your circumstances were still looking the same. But Jesus said, your time is now. He said, your blessing is now. Your breakthrough is now. Your healing is now. Your deliverance is now. Your double portion is now. Your more than enough is now. Your harvest is now. Because Jesus said, he's doing a new thing, but he's doing it now. He said, I can't do it tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised to you. I can't do it next week because next week is not promised to you. I can't do it next month neither. I can't do it next year neither because next month and next year is not promised to you. But he said, I have to do a new thing, but I got to do it right now. He said, get ready for that open door right now. Get ready for that phone call that you've been waiting on right now. That email right now. That text message right now. That connection right now. That resource right now, your abundance right now, your deliverance right now, your more than enough right now, the help that you've been waiting on, the prayer that you've been waiting to come to pass. He said, I'm doing a new thing, but he said, I'm doing it right now. If you believe it right now, if you declare it right now, if you receive it right now, if you stamp your name on it right now, if you decree that Jesus is doing a new thing right now in the month of July in 2019, I want you to give Jesus some thanks right now. I want you to give Jesus some praise right now. I want you to give Jesus some glory right now if you know deep down in your heart that Jesus is doing a new thing right now because I believe it right now. I declare it right now. I receive it right now and I decree it right now and Jesus, we ain't taking no for an answer because Jesus, you got to come correct. You might well bring us what you owe us and we'll just let you know right now today. We give you the thanks right now and we give you the praise right now and we give you the glory right now because we know that you're doing a new thing right now. Amen? Amen. My brothers, my sisters, are y'all ready for this word right now? Are y'all ready for this anointing message right now? Because I believe somebody's going to be blessed and somebody's going to be moved through this word right now. Because Jesus told me to tell somebody right now today, I don't know who it is. It seems like you are ready. It seems like you are ready. 
I don't know who God is about to talk to right now today. I don't know how the Holy Spirit is about to move, but I know the Holy Spirit is about to move to somebody right now. Somebody's about to feel chills run down, run down their they bones, run down through their face, all the way to their ankles. Because this anointing word, this anointing message is about to move to somebody right now today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Amen? Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I cannot, I can't thank you enough for this word. I can't thank you enough for this anointing message. I just can't thank you enough for the air that we're able to breathe right now today. I just can't thank you for your grace and your mercy. I can't thank you enough for our help and our strength right now today, God. I can't thank you enough for the food that you have blessed and prepared and put on our table. The clothing shoe that you put on that back. I just can't think of the open doors. I can't think of the door that you have closed. I can't think of how you provide it. I just can't think of how you move in the mouth right now today. I just can't think of the vision and the prohibition, God. I just can't think of everything that you've done and everything that you're doing. I just can't thank you, Lord Jesus, because I know that you're doing a new thing, but you're doing it right now. I just can't think of that help that's coming our way. I just can't think of the double portion. I just can't think of our overflow. I can't thank you enough, Jesus, because I know this is our season right now. I just can't think of the rain. I just can't think of the miracle. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't think of the Holy Spirit right now. I can't think of your angels that join us in praise and worship right now. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. Enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you each and every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Can you please turn your Bible to Matthew 19? And we're going to read verse 29. That's Matthew chapter 19. And we're going to read verses 29. And if you have your Bibles open and are ready to receive this word, let the church say amen. If you got it, shout out hallelujah. Hallelujah, I got it. If you don't got it, say amen. I'm coming. I'm on the way. It's Matthew 19, and we're going to read verse 29. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or field for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and many who are last will be first and right now a lot of you right now some of you right now today i ain't gonna say a lot of you some of you right now today has dropped everything down just to follow jesus you made a you made a, a commitment you made a dedication you made a grown man you made a grown woman decision just to leave everything back home just to follow jesus just to rely on him, just to depend on him and count on him. Everybody's not built like you, my brothers. Everybody's not built like you, my sisters. This right here takes a strong individual to leave everything behind. You got to be committed to this. You got to be dedicated to this. To do something like this. But when you do, yes, people going to overlook you. You're not going to get the credit. You're not going to get the recognition. And right now, it seems like everything that you're going through like it seems last. But you don't realize you're not last because you're working with the person who always be first. And he still is first. And his name is Jesus. A lot of you right now today, you've been on this assignment with Jesus for a long time. You've been on this mission with Jesus for a long time. You've been holding on tight. You've been counting on. You've been depending on. Even through the storm and even through the wilderness. You still haven't let go. 
But many disciples have walked away because they didn't see things happen. They let people get in their head because they wasn't ready what God was about to do for them. But you, on the other hand, good God Almighty, help me, Jesus. But you was ready what God was about to do for you because his word say the first should be last and the last should be first because you started at the bottom because you came from the bottom. You know as long as you was walking with Jesus that you was walking with the number one man. As long as you was hanging with him, you knew eventually everything was going to come to pass. By you hanging with the man who is the man, you knew eventually things were going to turn out in your favor. So Jesus told me to tell you right now today, it seems like that you're ready for that blessing that you've been waiting on. He told me to tell you, it seems like that you're ready for that breakthrough. It seems like you, that you're ready for that phone call that you've been waiting on, that email that you've been waiting on, that text message you've been waiting on. It seems like you, that you're ready for that job interview. It seems like for you to be the, the, um, the next president. It seems like that you're ready to be the next lawyer. It seems like that you're ready to be a parent. It seems like that you're ready to receive your eternal life in your hundred times more because the word of God said that anybody who leaves mother, father, brother, sister, children for the field to follow Jesus, that you will and that you will receive eternal life and that you will receive a hundred times more. Right now, Jesus said somebody already built a hundred more houses for you, but it seems like that you're ready for it. Jesus said it's a hundred more business deals already have your name on it. But Jesus told me, you seem like that you're ready for it. Jesus told me to tell somebody right now today, there's a hundred more ministry deals that's waiting on you right now today because it seems like that you're ready for it. There's a hundred more brothers that really want to be your brother because you seem like that you're ready for it. There's a hundred more sisters that want to be your sisters because he said you seem like you're ready for it. And the reason why that you're ready for it because you was following Jesus. You didn't let go. You got on that bus and you threw the ticket away. You got on that train and you didn't pull the string. Anybody following with Jesus for a long time? Anybody that's following with Jesus through the storm? Anybody following with Jesus through the wilderness? Anybody following with Jesus through the hard times and for the struggle and the suffering? My brothers, my sisters, he's telling me to tell you right now today. It seems like that you're ready. He said that you've been waiting long enough. He said he's been watching you and you've been faithful and you've been obedient. You've been pouring your heart out to him and you've been right there trusting him all through this time that you haven't complained one time, that you haven't gave up one time. It was plenty of time that you want to give up. It was plenty of time that you want to walk away, but you were still holding on to Jesus. You were still crying out to him. You were still trusting him and you still had your hope in him. And when he sees that and he noticed that, he said, no longer will you be last. He said, you're going to be first. And you're going to stay first because look what you did. You left everything back just to follow Jesus. Everybody ain't built like that. Everybody is not strong like that, like they say they are. And he told me, it seemed like that you're ready. He said, you've been following me way too long. You've been crying your heart out. You've been faithful. You've been obedient. He said, I promise you a hundred times more. So there's a hundred more vineyards right now today that have your name on it. Because Jesus said, it seems like that you're ready for it. He said that you are mature for it. That he's been preparing you the whole walk. The whole journey. He's been guiding you. He's been directing you. He's been prepping you for this very moment right now today. For that, for that, for that new business deal. He says a hundred more business deal. Business deal that you didn't even ask for. Business deal that you didn't even pray for. He said, already have your name on it. He said, I, I got to have a hundred more people have a check that's going to endorse to you to get your bills paid in full because what you have been done. You are committed to follow Jesus. It's a hundred more people right now. It's a hundred more homes right now. It's a hundred more endorsements right now. It's a hundred more sponsors right now. It's a hundred more phone calls that's about to blow your phone up right now. You better receive a hundred more text messages right now. A hundred more emails right now. You better receive a hundred more blessings, a hundred more breakthroughs right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Jesus said, it seems like that you are ready. Even though people wrote you off, but Jesus never wrote you off. Even though people overlooked you. But Jesus never overlooked you. Even though that you didn't get the credit, you didn't get the recognition. But so you gotta look, you gotta look deep down in this text. 
Look what Jesus said, the first should be last, because the first didn't want for nothing. The first didn't know what the struggle is. The first didn't know what suffering means. The suffer, the first, it was things given to him. But you, it was not given to you. You had to earn it. And you earned it, my brothers. You earned it, my sisters. By being faithful. By being obedient. By trusting Jesus during the hard times. Because when Jesus said, anybody who leave everything back just to follow him, that let Jesus know that you're committed to him. Everybody don't have that kind of commitment like you do, my brothers. Everybody don't have that kind of commitment, my sisters. And I know part of some of y'all probably say, well, it seems like you read. I know that song. Yes, a famous singer, R. Kelly, wrote a song about it seemed like you read it. And he was talking about this lady that had been following him this whole time. But you got to look, he was, he was prepping this lady for this lady to be for only him. And that's what Jesus was doing. He was prepping you. He was getting you ready because he knows sooner or later you got to be ready for your blessing. He knows sooner or later that you're going to be ready for your breakthrough. He knows sooner or later whatever it was that you've been asking for, you've been praying for, that you've been pouring your heart out to you. It took time. It took steps. So now Jesus said that you're ready for it now. You're ready for that blessing now. You're ready for that breakthrough now. You're ready for that anointing right now. You're ready for the deliverance right now. You're ready for that double portion right now. You're ready for your harvest right now. You're ready for overflow right now. You're ready for rain to pour out on you right now. Jesus said, you are ready. I don't know who, who I'm talking to right now today. I don't know who this word is for right now today. But I don't know about you, my brothers and my sisters. I've been following Jesus for a long time. We've been hand in hand, and we've been, we've been road dogs. And I know right now, the time I've been walking with Jesus, the talks we don't have, the conversations we don't have, even through the silent times, now he's speaking right now today. Jesus has opened up his mouth, and he says, son, tell my sons right now, tell my daughters right now, tell every young man, every young lady. Jesus said, it seems like that you are ready for it. And when Jesus said that you are ready for it, get ready because a hundred times more already have your name on it because of your faithfulness and your obedience by you trusting Jesus. You didn't walk away. You didn't give up. You stayed on that bus. You stayed on that train. You didn't look back. You kept following Jesus. You kept trusting him. You kept believing him. You kept pouring your heart out to him. And Jesus had took a notice of that. I say Jesus has took a notice of that. And he says, it seems like that you're ready to receive your hundred times more. Not my words, but the word of God. He says it right here. We'll receive a hundred times as much mm, and will. He gave you two blessings in one. And we'll, and, and we'll inherit eternal life. But many are first. Look at the people that was laughing at you. Look at the people who was overlooking at you. The same people that was laughing at you. The same people who didn't give you the credit. The same people who didn't give you the recognition going to be the same people that's going to be asking you for help. Going to be asking for a handout because they're going to see you first. They're going to see you on top because as long as you're following Jesus, as long as you've been faithful, and as long as you've been obedient, you're going to stay first. You're going to stay at top because you're hanging with the man who's always at top. And Jesus always at the top. He's never at the bottom. He got more than enough to go around. He got more than enough to supply every last one of your needs. So that's why Jesus is saying that you are ready. I don't know who this word for today. The point I'm making right now today. Are you ready for your blessing right now today? Are you ready for your breakthrough right now today? Are you ready for your deliverance right now today? Are you ready to receive that phone, that business phone call? Are you ready to be at that boardroom meeting? Are you ready to be a father again? Are you ready to be a mother again? Are you ready for these business deals to go down? Are you ready for these ministry deals to go down? Are you ready for your harvest? Are you ready for your family to come back together? Are you ready for God to do a, a new thing to you? Are you ready for your miracle right now? Are you ready for your double portion right now? Because I don't know about you right now today. It seems like I'm ready because I know I'm ready because I've been walking with God for way too long. And when you've been walking with God for a long time, you know when it's ready. You know when it's time. You know when you're ripe. 
You know that God's about to come in and do a new thing. You know that your miracles on the way. You know that your blessings on the way. Good God Almighty. You know that your blessings, your breakthroughs on the way. You know God is about to show up right now. You know that you're going to be first. Get ready. Jesus says, it seems like you're ready. When he says that you're ready, you're ready. Get ready because your phone is about to blow off the hook. Get ready. You better receive all kind of text messages. Get ready. You better receive all kind of email. Get ready. You better receive all kind of business opportunities. Get ready. Jobs out of the war earth. You know that you even apply for. Already have your application. Already have your resume on file. Get ready because Jesus said that you will receive a hundred times more than what you had before. You came out. You came with nothing. Now you're going to have something. You came from nothing. Now God going to make sure that you have everything that you wanted everything that you need because he said that you are ready because you drop everything down just to follow him. It take a real strong soldier to do that. It take a real strong soldier red to do that. And you are the soldier. And you are the soldier red in God's army. And he said as the general, you are ready. When Jesus said that you are ready, he said you are ready. He's looking for some more recruits. Are you willing to be in Jesus' army right now today? Are you willing to drop everything down just to follow him? Because you will. You're going to have to walk with Jesus for a while. Yeah, he's going to talk to you for a minute. Then after a while, he's going to get silent. He's going to be silent for a long time. But don't throw in a towel. Don't get off the school bus. Don't get off the train. You continue to hold on to him. Because he said you're going to be overlooked. You're not going to get the credit. And you're not going to get the recognition. But he gave you his word. That the last should always be first. And right now it seems like that you're last. But Jesus said you're ready now. Because you're going to be first. Because you're ripe and you're ready. Because he's been guiding you. He's been directing you. And he's also been grooming you the whole time. What you think that he was doing when you was messing up? He was still grooming. He was still combing your hair. He was still washing your feet. He was still protecting. He was still loving. He was still pouring his heart out to you. The whole time. And neither one of us perfect. Yes, we slept, but that's what Jesus was still doing. He was still grooming us even though we slept. He was still grooming us even though we messed up from time to time. But he was preparing us, getting us ready because people already built the houses for us. People already built the vineyards for us. People that we don't that we don't even know about already had the business deals already set. Already had the ministry deals already set. Already Jesus already spoke to people who already have already wrote checks out for you right now today. It's a hundred people that you, don't, that you don't even know about already have a million dollar check with your name on it right now today. You have a hundred more brothers that you never met before or even saw. You have a hundred more sisters that you never saw. You have a hundred more fathers and a hundred more mothers that you never met before. They're waiting on you. They even know your name. They even know what you look like. It's because you've been following Jesus. You've been following him. Anybody who follows Jesus is always going to be on top. That's why he says it seems like you, that you're ready. That's the whole point of this text. Anybody follow Jesus will always be on top. Yeah, you got to start from the bottom to get what you need to get at. But it was worth it was worth the while. Now it's paid off, my brothers. It has paid off for you, my sisters. Get ready. It seems like that you're ready. Get ready to receive your phone call today. Your email today. Your text message today. Get ready for that business opportunity to go down today. For that ministry there to go down there. Get ready for that plane. Get ready to check your mailbox because you're going to have a, some plane tickets right now to go to head to that boardroom meeting right now today. Get ready because you're going to receive pregnancy news right now today. Get ready because you're going to have people who already built houses that you didn't even know that you asked for or even pray for. Get ready because the people already built vineyards that have your name on it that you didn't even ask or pray for. Get ready to receive all kind of jobs that's going to be blowing your phone up. Jobs that you never applied for but they want you. They want you bad, and they want to pay you top dollar right now. They want to give you whatever it is. They even got an office set with your name on it, with a desk, with a reclining chair. Jesus said, it seems like that you're ready. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for my blessing today. I'm ready for my breakthrough today. I'm ready for my deliverance today. I'm ready for my double portion today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. It seems like you're ready for it. Amen? Amen. I hope that this word 
And I hope that this message today was helpful towards somebody today. And if it was, give Jesus the thanks right now and give Jesus the praise and glory right now. Amen. Amen. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, I was praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always give Jesus the thanks. Always give him the praise. Always give him the glory because he told me to tell you it seemed like that you're ready for your blessing today and your breakthrough and everything else that has your name on it. This minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Amen.